everyone! Your favorite hippie, your favorite witch, magician, artist, creative person, human being, animal, wild, uh, freak, psycho is back. I'm here! I am here! I was not making a videos for two weeks. I have my notes here and I see that for two, three weeks I was feeling because I asked myself how do I feel and I wrote bad, useless, empty, not active, very passive, sleepy, weak, suicidal, like I am a waste of time. I know, this is how I felt after that existential crisis, but we rise from every situation that makes us stronger in the end. And I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm here with tea, of course. This is the last tea I have, I ordered more, so we are waiting for the new tea. Uh, really, so many things happened. In these weeks, while I was not on YouTube, I was not really in social media, I was living life. Not very productive life, but more inner. <laughs> One day, I tried mushrooms. <laughs> I know, I know. You may be surprised because the way I see life, the way I, my philosophy is, my spirituality, so many people thought that I already tried weed. I was smoking cigarettes, I was like doing LSD, cocaine, <laughs> shrooms, everything. But I never smoked, I never smoked weed, I never tried all these drugs, never. I naturally high. <laughs> it's all by nature and it's all by my dark path because I needed to find a way to see the beauty because I was very into deep stuff so this is how I became naturally high but I tried mushrooms ah! and what I went to the beach with my friend it was hot outside, so hot. And somehow, I just tried magical mushrooms. And I want to tell you that I was thinking about it a few months ago, because mushrooms are nature. I'm not into powder and something chemicals, no. But mushrooms, they grow. And I can easily, when it's autumn, go and gather, as I did in my country in Latvia every year. Not psychedelic ones, but uh, edible ones. I love mushrooms. I was gathering them all my childhood. Also, I never knew that there are psychedelic mushrooms. I know, I live somewhere like a fish. <laughs> oh, I don't know much about what people do and like, I really somewhere in my world, I think. So I really didn't know that there are mushrooms, psychedelic ones. Only last year when someone wrote me that, Fred, are you doing mushrooms? Like, are you doing microdosing? I'm like, what's that? Then I started to Google and I am that person that against something that can destroy my health. So I'm not smoking, I never smoked a cigarette. I don't... Uh, <laughs> I don't drink much. Like, I ra... Ra? I love red wine. This is what I love to drink. Like, I'm not into vodka and all this stuff. Red wine, one glass, two glasses, cool. <gasps> Uh, yeah, I was not drinking for three years and I just started when I became friends with my friend again and like she's drinking and I'm like, mm, let's have some fun. So yeah, bad influence. Don't be friends with people. <laughs> and they gave me mushrooms? So everything that can destroy my health? Excuse me, no. Go away, I'm into medicine, I'm drinking tea here, this is what I love. 
Fuck this. This fucking sweet chestnut shell is so thorny and they're everywhere. I want to drink tea, okay? Let's drink tea because I woke up in the morning, you know what time? 5.30 something. I am, I know, without alarm. I try to sleep, but I'm in the flow now. I'm inspired, I think I found my tribe. And people inspire me just by looking at them. Not all people, but we will talk about it later. Some people who are very authentic find them, be friends with them, love them, have mushrooms with them. <laughs> okay, let's drink tea. So, that mushroom trip was on a beach. Like, I was not tripping, it was only 3 grams. They say that you will have those patterns when it's 5 grams. I tried 3 for the first time. And all I felt like, I was laughing, every emotion was twice bigger, like, I was <laughs> <laughs> laughing more twice. I also felt vulnerable about my body parts, like, I wanted to hide it, I wanted to feel safe, and because I was on a beach, so many people around, I wanted to be in my shelf only with my friends. I wasn't stressed. And then... I saw in the sand green grass on a beach white sand green grass it was only for a few seconds and it was so weird I was like is it because grass was before here before the sand appeared or will it grow in the future or like my mind just created grass then we went to dreamland like woo, like uh, Oh, what are they called? Ah! And I think because I was first on mushrooms, second, uh, my breath was shaking. I was shaking because adrenaline, like ah! scary room, and choo -choo 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 -choo. and I had a fucking heat stroke for the first time in my life. While we were standing in the queue for the next ride, uh, I felt that my stomach aches. I thought maybe it's because of the mushroom and also I ate so many shit at that day. Uh, so I told to my friend Renata, uh, I feel like my stomach aches and she said go and shit and I was like <laughs> yeah yeah no. and then I look at her and I start to see that the sides of my side are like waves and rainbows like the spectrum of the colors from the sides and they are waving I told her can you take me to the toilet I'm not feeling well I think it's the beginning of a trip. In few seconds, like this, I start to lose my sight. I walked only a few steps. We just left the queue. These waves, rainbow waves, started to go closer to each other and they start to be black, like curtains, black curtains, and I see everything like this. I saw something like sparkles, violet and uh, green. They were making some kind of pattern, but not that psychedelic pattern. Uh, and then in a few seconds, I just see nothing. I was walking like this, almost felt I'm fully blind. I don't understand what's happening. She asked two guys to help her to bring me to the toilet and they said no we are with the family we won't help excuse me but okay i was walking blind and i said to renata please tell me some tell me something good because i know that if you start to panic if you're having a bad trip 
it's not a good moment because you will go crazy and because I was so concerned that it's a trip I said tell me something good and she just said we're going to the toilet everything is fine and I thought we will go so far to the toilet from that queue I won't handle it I will fail somewhere somewhere and I just don't want to look at this darkness and I don't know why but I wanted to find myself in the darkness I saw some sparkles and I thought, is it me? Uh, is it me? There is no me. And you know when people say ego death, it was something similar. Because there is no me, there is no physical form, there is just darkness. Am I the darkness? So I didn't find myself there. Also, I was walking and I thought, what if people will think that I am uh, drunk and like I looked uh, cool, but the way I walk now is not very cool. And like I started to think about my physical form, like um, do I look good? No, no, no. I always have to look fine. But then I just thought, I don't give a fuck. I'm half naked, I am shaking, I see nothing, I am blind, I am in the darkness, I can't find myself there, I just don't give a fuck. I just want to survive it. And I remember that trips uh, can be three, four, five, six hours, and I thought, if I will see it in a toilet for this long time, I don't want to see it. I was fucking scared. And you can't stop the trip. But it wasn't a trip. <laughs> Happily, it wasn't. We went to the toilet. She started to wash my face, my hands, my neck. And I started to see again. My side started to appear. And she told me, Fred, it was heat stroke. She had it when she was 11. This was my first experience with mushrooms. I had a fungal heat stroke. I thought it's a trip. I died and resurrected that day. Also, time fell eternity. I thought it's already evening, but it was just 1, 2 p.m. Next day, I was reading about heat stroke and they say that in the UK 2,000 people die from it it's deadly it's destroying some inner organs and nervous system and some connections in your brain okay we're losing some connections but we will build some new connections from mushroom I noticed that distorted perception of myself that I needed to hide myself uh, safety was in the first place then distorted perception of space also of time it felt eternity and I saw that green grass sticking out the sand where brown seaweed was dry seaweed Someone can say that I take that heat stroke too seriously, but of course it is serious thing. If I was young and I experienced it at that age, I won't analyze it that much as I can now. And as you know, I analyze everything I need to know. I need to understand and it happened with me. And every time that something is happening with me, like I cut myself, something very stupid but something that touches my health i think wow i don't cry about it for example i cut myself and i think oh, blood i have blood so i'm really human like okay <laughs> okay it's something interesting i'm very surprised that something can happen with me this is the definition of what i want to say and that heat stroke really was partly ego death.
because I understood that I don't care how I look when I was walking. Uh, I'm not trying to... I won't try to prove you something that I walk perfectly even if I'm blind. These situations just show you that be yourself. Don't try to prove them something. Don't try to change you. Don't try to please them. Oh, I was doing so much it in my life. I was pleasing so many people. Just them to be comfortable. So I will destroy myself. I will not tell them that, uh, that I am suffering, that I am dying, that I can't breathe. But just to make them happy. So this situation just told me... Fuck them. They didn't want to help me even. I know there are people who will help you, who, will he who could help me. But really, just concentrate on yourself when you had bad moments in your life. Don't concentrate on others. They will give you advices. Some advices will help, some will not. But the main influence why I'm here is because I told myself that, okay, I found it, I realized it, I analyzed it. It took me two weeks, but as a result, I'm here. I made it. And you can make it if you are in a bad situation now or in the future. You will make it. The winter will be gone. The season will change. And you will die and resurrect. New, transformative. Look, I'm so obsessed with these things. Oh, I made it. I made it. I want to do more of this. Like hair extensions. <laughs> Yes, I will just dive in in my craft. I will perceive it from within. I will do what I really like, what I want. Honestly, I am free. You are free. And we can easily change our mind to another topic like this. Also, mushrooms educated me that you can easily change your emotion because your memory feels very small so you don't remember kind of what you were talking about a few minutes ago and let's bring it into our real life because mushrooms they just play with our micro systems and they just show us what our brain already can do. And it showed me that you can actually change your mood in a second. And I did it and it works. One minute I was thinking about some... Oh, oh I'm really weak, I'm depressed. And then I understand that now I'm not. I'm changing the mood and I say, okay, let's dance. Wow, I'm so sexy, I'm so beautiful, I'm so creative, my solar plexus, my sacral chakra, my root foundation, yeah, <laughs> you see, you see, it works. <gasps> By the way, I'm learning now about practicing with sacral chakra, so in few days I will make a video about it. So yes. You can change everything, you can dive in your craft and make it and talk about it and inspire others and just love it, enjoy it and know that every negative period in your life is not forever, just know about it. And when it started I knew that I will transform again. I didn't know that it could take two weeks not what I expected, but at least it at the end worth it.
I will see you, my lovely lace, my blue place, my sussies, my la la ladybirds. Yeah, ladybugs. <laughs> I'll see you on my next video. Okay, I'm sending you all my love. And by the way, uh, comment something, like this video. Yes, we will talk about it now. And subscribe to this channel because let's be together in this mycelium connection. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm sending you all my love and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Oh. Okay, tea.